advanced. Arima Kazina, um, a special assistant to the Office of the Secretary of the California Department of Food and Agriculture. And I understand that she's really pushing for healthy soil programs throughout the state, and we're really happy to have her. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to join the proceedings the preceding speakers in welcoming you to the LA Urban Soil Symposium. And I really wanna thank our hosts for putting this event together. Um, as was mentioned, my name's Arma Kuzina. I have the privilege of leading California's Healthy Soils Initiatives. So that's a collaboration of 15 state agencies like yourselves committed to improving soil health across the state. As an aside, this initiative also hosts California Healthy Soils Week each year at the beginning of December. So we really look forward to celebrating with all of you. Please check in with us <laughs> about ways that you can, you can celebrate uh, World Soils Day this year. So it's on behalf of this group of soil health activists that I really wanna say a sincere thank you for participating in today's symposium. We stand with you in recognizing the crucial role that our soils play in growing healthy food, air, water, and communities. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but I really don't often get a chance to extol the values of soil with so many other advocates. It's something that makes me, that I get very excited about, but as was mentioned earlier, is not a particularly sexy topic. So bear with me while I take advantage of this opportunity to talk about the benefits of soil health. So as we know, healthy soil holds our water to combat drought. It reduces dust and filters our waters to improve public health, particularly in priority communities and it sequesters carbon to help us fight climate change. To list just a few of the many ecosystem services that soil provides. And it does all of this while fulfilling its most sacred responsibility of feeding our communities. On top of this, the solutions that enrich our soil are an easy win-win for our cities. Solutions like cultivating green spaces, urban agriculture, and community compost increase abundance, combat extreme heat, and promote healthy nutrient cycling. I know that I fell in love with soil while I was living and working in California's Central Valley. So I was surrounded by farmers and ranchers whose livelihood was inextricably linked with soil management. Whether they conserve it or not, their soil dictates their ecological and economic sustainability. But I'll admit, even loving soil as much as I do, when I returned to Sacramento, that connection was severed to some extent. Living in a city, it's so easy to forget our soil and to take it for granted but 95% of Californians live on and rely on urban soil. And urban soils rely on the collective knowledge and activism of all of you. So while protecting our soil health seems evident and imperative to all of us, we face many challenges. Managing our soil health requires remediating spaces that have been covered and polluted for decades. Protecting bare soil from permanent coverage and erosion, this is huge. Um, building appropriately scaled infrastructure and tools to support recycling community waste to compost, and most of all, educating our communities to change how they view and interact with soil. None of these things is easy, quick, or inexpensive. So I'm confident that this room holds the knowledge and creativity to face and overcome these challenges. I'm equally confident that the solutions you develop here today can really serve as a model to scale up for cities across California. I just wanna say that the Healthy Soils Initiative is so lucky to count on all of you as partners in this cause, and so lucky to count tree people as partners as well. Thank you so much for your time and effort today. I really look forward to hearing more about your work, and I hope that you have a wonderful day at this symposium.